Greetings, everyone. I am thrilled that you could join us today, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you, but I am sure you are looking forward to a nice, restful summer, a summer filled with fun, laughter, and family time. So, as we end our year, we want you not to forget the parables. And this one is very, very important. It is the parable of the birds and the foxes. Now, it's about what it costs to follow Jesus. Jesus was asked by a gentleman, uh, I will follow you, he said. Well, he made a statement. I will follow you, but just let me do one thing I have to go back home to do. And Jesus said to him, let the dead bury the dead and you follow me, which indicates that the cost of following Jesus is sometimes dropping what we think we have to do and following what we should do. Now, this comes to bear when he says, I want you to know that fox have holes or dents and birds have nests. But the Son of Man, Jesus, has nowhere to lay his head. Why? Because his followers are not in line. They're here, they're everywhere. And he says, the cost of following me is to drop everything and follow me. Follow me, for I have success for you. I have abundant life for you. I have eternity for you. So we need to follow him. And to follow him costs dropping some of the things we think are just absolutely so important. And the man in the story wanted to go and bury his dad. And he said, let the dead bury the dead. That's hard. But the cost of following Jesus is simply you follow him even when it's not popular, even when it's not sanctioned or said that's a good thing by others. Following him means to follow intently. And so therefore, there's nothing more important for me to do than what Jesus would have me to do. And so as you go throughout the summer, I want you to remember to follow Jesus, no matter what's around you, no matter what others are telling you, follow Jesus. And you may be asking, how can I follow Jesus? Simply follow his word. For in his word, there is life and that everlasting. So know the words of Jesus. Know what he tells us to do, to pick up our cares and follow him for he cares enough to attend to all those cares that we have and so therefore he is an everlasting savior he is truly a prince of peace so therefore this summer all year long every day you live pick up your things pick up your cares and follow Jesus. So remember the parable of the birds and the foxes. The fox have what? Holes or dens. And the birds have what? They have nests. But where is Jesus in your life? Are you going to follow him? Be blessed. In Jesus' name, I do pray this day. Amen.